What's going on guys? Welcome to 519 Eats. I'm Zach. And I'm Luke. We are here at Stoner's Grub House at 1472 Dundas Street and today we're reviewing some pizza. zero crunch yeah on the first bite yeah they, i actually like the crust it's doughier than maybe than what i would say i love but cheese on this one we're going to give it a six because it's pretty heavy towards the middle of the pizza but towards the outside and the crust you're left with about an inch and a half piece of crust all the way around on this pizza crispiness on this one we're gonna have to go with a three because the dough is very thin and it's cooked well all the way through just it's very soft it's very doughy yeah like it's fluffy eh? soft the, i like that the crust at least has a crunch like the rest of it's soft so i mean again that's not for everybody some people like it a little more well done than that but i do like that the crust at least has that crunch and it does have pretty good flavor mm -hmm. For sauce on this one, we're going to go with a six because it's a little bit heavier than balanced sauce, which is fine for the amount of dough once you get towards the crust. And it's not overly messy. It's not falling off the pizza in any way, shape or form, but it's a good, healthy amount of sauce for the pizza. A personal mm -hmm. score on this one, I'm going to be just a little bit critical and I'm going to be giving this one a 6.5. I'm gonna give this one a 6.5 because I had a lot higher expectations for this pizza. It was very, came very highly recommended to us. It's kind of like your standard middle of the pack pizza. It's nothing. Which is okay when you're stoned. <laughs> It'll taste better when you're yeah, stoned. Yeah, <laughs> which, which will taste better when you're stoned for pizza. sure. It's nothing overly fancy. It's nothing great. It's good. Kind of lackluster pizza, man. I'm kind of disappointed, you know? Um, Not. Not the greatest pizza, 6.5, easily 6.5. It's better than your standard chain pizza, but it's nothing, nothing great. Yeah, okay, so for this, I'm gonna have to go with a 6.3. Um, I, yeah, I would have liked it cooked a little bit more all the way through. They would have left it in the oven a few more minutes, maybe even more caramelization, because they started to get a little bit of caramelization, then they like took it out. It's like if you were like left that in the oven for another, little bit i think the top would have got a little more charred and everything and i think that would have been perfect yeah and the crust would have got a little bit darker even i think it would have been perfect but that's just personal preference as well yeah. you got to consider the value it's being under 15 bucks so that's not too bad i wouldn't really necessarily expect it to be all fresh and everything for that price um, and cheese again just kind of a regular mozzarella with the tiny little bit of shaker parm on top Well, we hope you enjoyed our review. Head on over into Instagram and follow us at 519 underscore eats. Until next time, give us a like, hit subscribe, and thanks for watching. I had all my, my gearing up to get pizza shoes on and now I just <laughs> might as well have just left them at home today.